वेलकम बैक स्टूडेंट्स टू अ मैथ्स क्लास चैप्टर फाइव डेसिमल फ्रैक्शंस कंटिन्यूएशन ऑफ प्रैक्टिस सेट फोर्टीन कंटिन्यू विद प्रैक्टिस सेट फोर्टीन एंड सम नंबर फाइव आयशा बॉट वन पॉइंट एट जीरो मीटर ऑफ क्लॉथ फॉर हर सलवार एंड टू पॉइंट टू फाइव मीटर फॉर हर कुर्ता इफ द क्लॉथ कॉस्ट 120 ट्वेंटी रुपीज पर मीटर चिल्ड्रन पर मीन्स फॉर वन मीटर ओके हाउ मच शी मस्ट शी पे द शॉपकीपर सो द क्वेश्चन इज शी बॉट सम मटीरियल समथिंग फॉर सलवार समथिंग फॉर कुर्ता ओके एंड द कॉस्ट ऑफ दैट मटीरियल वॉज वन हंड्रेड एंड ट्वेंटी रुपीज फॉर वन मीटर बट शी डेन ब्रिंग वन मीटर नेचुरली शी ब्रॉट समथिंग मोर देन वन मीटर okay so we have to find that whatever material she brought how much she had to pay to the shopkeeper and we know the rate of the shopkeeper's uh, cloth so we will start so before that we need to know how much total cloth aisha bought for salwar and for kurta both what is the total material she brought and then If for one meter, for per meter means one meter. If for one meter, she has to pay one twenty rupees. Then total cloth, how much she brought? How much will be the cost? And I have explained you in my earlier video that if the cost of one is given, and we have to find for many, which particular operation we have to do? Yes, we have to multiply. so here for 1 meter is given the rate for 1 meter is given and we have to find for more meters that means we have to multiply okay so let's begin you will also have the textbook in front of you and i have also read the sum okay so first we will write the statements so we write the cloth for salwar is she brought 1.80 meters so your children 1.80 is actually given in the form of decimal fraction okay so we will solve our complete sum with the decimal fraction only now the cloth which is brought for kurta Which is equal to two point two five. Okay. Now we have to find the total material what she brought. Okay. So we can write your total cloth. And I think by now you know when the word comes total or all together or sum s u m sum then we add. Okay. So the total cloth for salwar and kurta is equal to we need to add 1.80 plus 2.25 so let's do it here and show second number when we are writing we first put the decimal we write before the decimal 2 after the decimal 2 and 5 so we write in the same order we add 0 plus 5 is 5 8 plus 2 is 10 so we take write 1 here 0 here decimal 2 plus 1 is 3 plus 1 is 4 okay so the answer here we have got in meters okay so this is the total material what aisha has bought now we will write the cost Of one meter cloth. From where we'll get this one meter? Per meter rate was given. Per meter rate means one meter. Okay, that is given as rupees one twenty. So for one meter, if the cost is one twenty, then we have to find the cost of four point zero five meter. and i has i told you if it is given for one and we have to find for many or more 
then we multiply. So 4.05 multiplied by 120. Now this is a multiplication of a decimal fraction which is not done yet. Okay, it is there in the next practice set. But I will explain you here. It is very simple. Whenever you have a multiplication with a decimal fraction, you need not worry. You multiply it as removing the decimal point. Okay, so we will multiply this without the decimal. So if there was no decimal, what will be the number children? 4, 0, 5. Okay, if there is no decimal, the number is 4, 0, 5. Okay, and we multiply this 4, 0, 5 with 1, 20. 4, 0, 5 multiplied by 1, 20. And we carry out the multiplication, regular multiplication, which we do normally. Okay, so 5, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 4, 0, 0. Then we put a 0. 2 fives are 10, so 1 here, 0 here, 2 zeros are 0, plus 1, 1, 2 fours are 8. Now we have to put 2 zeros when we take the third number, then 1 fives are 5, 1 zeros are 0, 1 fours are 4. And we will add, okay, 0, 0, 5 plus 1 is 6. 8 and 4. Now, after we complete the multiplication without the decimal, now the answer what we have got, we will see first how many decimal places were there. If you see both the numbers together, here there is no decimal. But here there were two places, decimal places. You can count after the decimal one place, two place. Okay, so there are two places after the decimal. So even in the answer, we are going to count two places and put a decimal. So we always count from the right hand side. So from right hand side, we will count two decimal places. This is one, this is two and then we put a decimal. Okay, so this is the way we do the calculation. And the number if you want, you can now put the decimal to avoid confusion. In the beginning, we don't put a decimal. After we get the answer, we count actually how many decimal places are there in both together. Now here there is no decimal place, but here there were two. So from behind, from the right hand side, okay, from the right hand side we count two places and put a decimal. So this is our answer actually, okay, which is equal to rupees 486.00. is understood that this is a whole number. As I told you, how we put a decimal in a whole number? After the number, we put a decimal and 0, 0. So, this is actually equal to rupees 486. Okay? Because after the number, when there is a decimal and 0, 0, it is considered as a whole number. Okay? Now, after this, it is important that we write the final statement. So there is very less place but I will make sure that I write it. Therefore Aisha paid rupees 486 to the shopkeeper. Okay now this final statement you have to write in your own words. But you have to first see what is given to find out. And accordingly you have to frame the statement. Now in this particular sum, the question, the last statement was how much she, how must she, how much she must pay to the shopkeeper. Okay. So therefore Aisha has to pay or you can write Aisha paid. That is also fine. Or you can write Aisha must pay rupees 486 to the shopkeeper. Any state. Now the sixth one. Sujata bought a watermelon weighing 4.25 kg and gave 1 kg 750 gram to the children in her neighborhood. How much of it does she have left? Now Sujata bought watermelon. The weight of the watermelon was 4.25 kg. 
This is given in the form of uh, decimal fraction. And from that she gave 1 kg and 750 gram to the children in her neighborhood. So from this 4.25 kg she gave away to someone and how much is left is asked to find. Now again uh, word problems when we solve uh, by now you all may be knowing that when we have to find how much is left we use the operation of subtraction how much is left okay so uh, how, how much more okay what is the difference all such kind of questions we subtract okay so now we write uh, now Sujata yeah Sujata bought the watermelon and the weight of the watermelon so bought a watermelon and the weight of the watermelon is given um, 4.25 kg now from this she gave in the neighborhood so we can write she gave to the children she gave to the children how much she gave she gave or uh, they have given it as 1 kg and 750 grams okay now one is given in the decimal form other is not given so we will convert both in the de decimal we want both in the decimal form so we'll convert this into the decimal form which will become 1.750 kg okay 1 kg is 1000 grams so three places here and kg 1.750 kg now we have to find how much is left with her now. As I told you, whenever the question is how much is left, how much more or find the difference, we subtract. Okay, so now our statement will be uh, the watermelon left. So therefore, watermelon left with Sujata. So we'll subtract. 4.25 okay now we will write this since we have to solve 4.25 as I told you when we are writing the second number first put the decimal before the decimal is 1 after the decimal is 750 so below one digit I will write 7 here I'll write 5 and 0. There is no digit above this, so I'll put a 0. We have to subtract. Okay. Now 0 minus 0 is 0. 5 minus zero, 5 is 0. Now 2 minus 7 here. Okay, so we need to borrow. So 2 is a smaller number. We cannot subtract 7 from 2. So therefore we borrow. So this 4 becomes 3 and this 2 becomes 12 because we borrowed. Now 12 minus 7 is 5 and 3 minus 1 is 2. Okay, so this many kgs. Okay, because this is all here in kgs. So therefore, the final answer Sujata. How much is left with Anna? Sujata has 2.500 kg watermelon left. Okay, that is 2 kg 500 grams. Okay, now after this we have the seventh one. Now, I want you all to do 7th on your own, but I will just explain you all. Anita was driving at a speed of 85.6 km per hour. The road had a speed limit of 55 km per hour. By how much should she reduce her speed to be within the speed limit? There is a speed limit. Okay, this. Now, kilometer per hour can be written as 
this form also kilometer per hour okay you can write it in this form so the speed limit is 55 kilometer per hour and she had extended the speed she had gone up to 85.6 so naturally she had increased the speed now how much speed she has to reduce so that she comes to this level so we have to find the difference okay what is the difference between both the speeds we have to find and just now i told you when we have to find the difference we have to subtract okay so here this is a sum of subtraction so this is for homework homework complete the sums from practice set in your notebook thank you